Yo guys, how's it going? Cobra1386 here, and welcome back to another 2016 LEGO Star Wars set review. Today, as you can see, we are looking at the Resistance Trooper Battle Pack, which I managed to pick up today, along with the um, First Order Battle Pack, which you will have seen the video for that yesterday, actually, so... Um, yeah, because I'll put this video up a day after the other one. So, uh, yeah, this is a really great set. It is set number 75131, and it goes on the market in the UK at the moment for roughly 11 99 to 12 99 depending, you know, which store you go to. And I believe, if I'm not wrong, in US dollars, that's roughly... Fifteen ninety nine. Do correct me if I'm wrong there, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, let's go ahead and have a look at the awesome new minifigures we get in this set. Here we have one of the three Resistance Troopers we get in this set. Now there are some really cool features I like with this set. The first of which actually being the helmet itself. The helmet we get here is a entirely new mould and we have this kind of chin jaw guard piece which folds down and you can fold right back like that to get out the way. You've got these two marks up the top here which add in the extra detail on the helmet which is really nice. And then we have a feature that was introduced I think it was either earlier this year or late last year which is with the trans um, visor being Moulded in as part of the actual helmet piece itself, which is a really cool feature. And then we move on to the torso design, which I love. He's got kind of the tan coloured jacket here with the utility straps on it, the belt. And then if we turn the figure around, here we can see the continuation of the strap design on the back. And you've got the buckles and some more pockets printed on. And overall this is a great torso on this minifigure. Also, each of the figures in this set does come with a stud shooter, just in the pre as in the previous battle pack. And uh, what I really like about this set is that they have added this bit on the back to make it look kind of more like a rifle than just kind of a pistol. Because as a pistol, it looks almost, you know, a bit too heavy. But like this, it looks really cool. It's a great added detail. And uh, we're just going to have a quick look at the other two resistance troopers as well because each trooper does have a different head. So here we can see the other two resistance troopers we get in this set and you can see they both have the different heads and I've actually just noticed that if I just take one of them away and put on the first figure we looked at you can see that the figure on the right here actually has a slightly darker tan jacket than the other two and he has flesh coloured hands whereas the others have the grey hands to symbolise the gloves. And here we have the fourth figure which we get in this set and here we, it is the resistance officer. This is a great figure. He has the hairpiece instead of the helmet and you can see on the head he has the uh, microphone printed on here. It's a great um, face. I love the way that even though it is quite a basic kind of expression it's still a really nicely detailed face with the microphone and everything. And then if we move on to the torso you can see it, it has a different torso to the others to kind of symbolize the officer and he's got kind of the patch on the left hand side of the figure there. Now I personally think that this torso looks kind of like the old imperial officer torsos we had like way back when we got them in the like in the Death Star and all this sort of thing. Just a different colour and slightly redesigned. But that is just my personal opinion. And this figure does also come with a stud shooter, but his doesn't have the back piece on, I guess, because he's an officer, he'd be using a pistol rather than a rifle. And uh on the back of the torso, here you can see we have a continuation of the belt design on the front and just some basic outlines on the back. Not really that detailed, but it does the job and it still kind of completes the overall look of this figure. And here we have the speeder which we get in this set. 
it, I found personally it was a really fun build to do. It didn't take all that long. It probably only took about five, maybe ten minutes at most to build. It is a really cool little build. It's quite simple. I'm assuming it's a miniaturized version of a vehicle we'll see in the film. If not, then it's still an awesome build. You can see you've got the two bits at the front here, which I presume kind of simulate a pair of guns on the front there. And then this big uh, blaster kind of cannon at the top here. It's a really cool build. And you've got the mounted stud shooter on the top. And with the set, you do get a ton of the spare studs for the figures and the vehicle. Now kind of the only things I have against this vehicle really are the fact that in order for someone like a minifigure at the back here to hold a gun it has to be kind of tilted at an angle like this. You can see there it's not straight at a certain angle and it's off to the side. And also the fact that this bit here which I assume is meant to be like the control stick you, none of the figures can hold on to it so you kind of have to use your imagination a bit there but apart from that this is a really cool build now let's move on let's have a look at the box the instructions and then we will wrap up this video here we have the box on the front you can see that we have a really cool action shot of the set and then you've got you know the age rating here, the serial number, the um, name of the set and then down the bottom corner we've got the Disney symbol and then as on the other box you've got the Force Awakens banner across the top. On the top of the box here you can see we have a scale uh, kind of image of the resistance officer and then on the back here again you can see you've got all the stud shooters you get in the set, a second action shot, blueprints of the vehicle and then down the bottom here we have all the playability features which I just went through. Here on the instruction booklet you can see we have the same action shot on the front as we did have on the box and then in the back again we have the piece count and if I go back a page you can see this is a slightly longer build than the previous set. This has a 32 page build on it, whereas I believe the other one was only about 26 pages. So, um, yeah, now let's go ahead and wrap up this video. So, here we have it the LEGO Star Wars 2016 Resistance Trooper Battle Pack. Now, this set is awesome, and I actually prefer this battle pack in a way to the previous one because all the figures in this are ground troopers and are kind of perfect for buying in bulk if you want to get uh, like a army or squadron of these guys to put together whereas with the first order one you only got two stormtroopers which means you'd have to buy like two or three times of as many of them as you would these in order to get kind of an equal amount of the ground troops themselves. Yeah, so this is a great set and if you enjoyed this video please do leave a like, it lets me know what kind of things you want to see on the channel and if you're new do subscribe for more LEGO videos just like this one. This has been Cobrine386 and I will see you guys in the next video.